Welcome to The Life, an E! News media presentation. I'm Andy Cohen, your host. In this, the school's 150th year, our new name pays homage to the illustrious past of Brooklyn Friends and The Life, the student-run newspaper that had a 60-year run. On one day each autumn, thousands of students in New York State participate in a day in the life of the Hudson and Harbor event. Students collect scientific information to create snapshots of the river at dozens of locations. Then they share their data via the web to better understand how their small piece of the river fits into the larger Hudson estuary ecosystem. For the third year in a row, BFS eighth graders participated in this project with science teachers Janet Villas Kevin Cooney, and Loris Wong. The BFS team used SANE nets, water testing kits, and measuring tools to investigate aquatic life, water chemistry, tides, and weather. They also participated in a demonstration of rising tides due to climate change. Many of the student groups also collect core samples of river bottom mud for analysis. In keeping with their mission of environmental stewardship, the BFS group also tended their oyster garden at Brooklyn Bridge Park as part of the Billion Oyster Project. Congratulations, young scientists and environmentalists, on a job well done. On this episode of The Life, you will see, with the help of the upper school drama class, a short video about the Bridge Film Festival. Our big story this week is about the all-school photo shoot in celebration of the sesquicentennial. But first, these community announcements, courtesy of 5A. This Friday and Saturday at 7 p.m. is the middle and upper school musical La Cage On November 20th, the PAT Diversity Committee is holding a community forum to follow up on the Drag Queen Story Hour that took place on November 8th in the Lower School Library. Preschool and Lower School have their traditional autumn sing with their families in the Germanhorn Meeting House on November 21st, while the Upper School has its annual Community Issues Conference, organized by the 10th grade class. Fall break begins on Wednesday, November 22nd. No school till Monday. Woo! Find your favorite books at the PAT Book Fair starting Friday, December 1st. Come out on Saturday, December 2nd for the annual PAT Winterfest and Book Fair. Pearl the Panther wants you to know that the winter athletic season has begun and that everyone should come, should come out and show your blue pride. And remember, blue pride! So, like, you know, like Superman, right? All right, so we're going we gonna to call this movie, like, Regular Guy. Okay, so, like, like Superman, like, it's not like he's going to be Superman all the time. He also has an alter ego, like Clark Kent, right? So we're going to, like, follow, like, how he has to, like, file his taxes. Transformers, but without any of the cars or the robots. Like, a kind of modern-day, like, Sweeney Todd, right? We got, like, a psychologist. It's kind of like Batman, but it's not, you know, because the plot is basically the same. But it's not, it's not, it's kind of the same, but it's not, it's not, right? C-SPAN, the movie. I don't have a bitch, I just like the chair. Following the life of this guy, we're gonna call him Kakelius in his garden, right? He's gonna be doing that all day and we're gonna learn about his life and how he lived. And, uh, you know, he's gonna hang out with his wife, Metella, right? And his kids, his kid, Quintus, and like their dog. In a world, planes, cars, garbage. It's 
to be honest with you, my idea is not fully complete, but I think I want this to have simplicity, peace, integrity, community, equality, and stewardship. Today for the sesquicentennial all school photograph. It ought to be really cool. Check it out. Danny, you know why we're here today on the steps of Bow Hall? We're celebrating a Brooklyn Friends' 150th birthday. We're taking an all school photograph to celebrate the 150th year of Brooklyn Friends School. And we are taking a K through 12 picture, which is a, a feat. How old are you? Uh, I'm 17. How does it feel to be part of something that's 150 years old? Truly incredible. It's, um, it's a testament to you know, how something can stand the test of time. Yeah, I'm excited. Because like, we could look back and see the picture 150 years ago and be like, that's kind of me right now. Yeah, works. So, so I've been here for 11 years, so it's great. And I'm new, but it feels good to be a part of something that's lasted for so long. Which means I made a right decision by coming here. Who doesn't love old things? I mean, the older the better, I would assume. It's a record that will be very interesting, I think, in the future to see how different we look from whatever people are like then. And you know, I was one of the first people here. 150 years ago? Yes! I don't believe it. People tell me I look young for my age. Well, the Civil War just ended, Brooklyn was starting to grow, but it still was sort of seen as more like a, a large village back then. Mostly because of the size of the school is so much smaller. Now, it's, now, it's, now it feels like we're really big, especially when we're all spread out on the steps. And I know it was, it was small. It started in the basement over at Spermahorn with a female principal. What do you think people will say 150 years from now when they see our picture? They dressed like that. Hopefully they'll think of at least the people here as like decent human beings. Two, three. And everyone, let's remember to let your life speak.